Hey folks, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and today we're going to do some more window work. I've got a couple windows that need to be replaced on the front porch here and when I replaced the last window on the old house I ordered some extra window panes so I'm crossing my fingers that all these windows are pretty uniform which is always something you got to deal with with a, uh, with a house of this age. Some of the panes of glass even though the windows look the same some of the panes Maybe slightly different, but hopefully these are all uniform and this new pane of glass will fit here. But that being said, um, we're going to put in this new window hopefully here. Um, I, I know a lot of viewers um, have uh, been waiting for me to uh, replace some more windows in the house. And the reason that I haven't been in a big rush to replace the windows now that the house is dried in is just because we did have leaks in the house and having these windows actually out provides airflow throughout the house so it can really dry in there and come summertime on some really hot days i'm going to open every window in the house and just let the house breathe and uh, get airflow out plus these windows have been covered so it hasn't been like rain's been getting them in them anyway so without further ado i'm going to start replacing this window I'm going to bring you up here and just show you a couple things that were done. Um, my last window replacement video, the audio cut out uh, for some reason. Hopefully it works this time. Uh, and I'll be able to walk you through what I'm doing. All right, so first things first, uh, this window has been broken for a real long time. And there was another piece of window that, or another piece of glass that was just kind of scabbed in front of this broken pane. Um, whoever did that put these nails in there uh, we've got to remove them and we're going to put in glazing points of course and do it the right way so first things first is we're going to get this try to pull this tape off without yanking out that piece of glass that's up there all these windows need to be reglazed too um, right now I'm just focused on the ones that are actually out and it would be much easier to actually take the entire window out and uh, reglaze it on the bench but we're not going to do that right now we may do that in the future when we fix all the rest of the panes that need to be reglazed uh, anyway so I'm going to start cleaning up this old window here all right so hopefully these little finish nails come out with no problem that one did there we go This is where we want to be really careful pulling out these finish nails because we don't want to break this thin wood right here. We also don't want to cut our hands on the on the glass there. Try to clean off some of this glaze around our old blazing points in here maybe make them a little bit easier to remove so we can get this glass out all right so now we got our glass out of the frame our old glass here and it wasn't very old glass because it's not wavy or anything like that which is good it would suck much more if this was a piece of original glass but at some point this window had obviously been replaced before this window pane i should say now that we've got that out except for one nail how did i miss that nail i thought i got them all i got all the nails up there this one evidently i missed Oh, 
Well, I got a piece of it, but we need to get it all out. Another piece of it. There we go. Finally, got all the nail out. All right, now we need to get out the old glazing points and start cleaning up this uh, window frame. So let's get that done. All right, so we got most of the old glazing out from this window. I'm just gonna take my glove here. Just gonna wipe out, get all the dust out of there. Anything else that may be loose. that pretty wood right there yeah looks good oh yeah that's the worst part man cleaning it up cleaning it up to put a new paint back in us that is the worst part of all of it all right guys got the window cleaned out so we're going to attempt to put in our new window pane which may be easier said than done because just as i was a little concerned about it's going to be a really tight fit for this pain going in there so let's try to work it in there and it's really funny you would you all these windows in this house look like all the window frames uh, but there obviously are differences and we also know that these two windows on the outside were added later so we're just kind of play with this a little bit because we do have some wiggle room might be able to take a razor blade and cut a little of the yeah the wood off i'm working with more than an eighth of an inch. It's close. It's so close. Give me a little accent. So I think part of it might be where... It's falling down a little bit. See if that is any closer. See if you can tell. If that's any closer. Alright. But I think maybe with that one having been cracked, I think maybe it fell. Yeah. You know, just settled. Watch out that that. Uh, need to pull it back out without breaking. There's it. a little yeah, it's starting to little spot right. Yeah, take your, try and get that back out and then take your razor blade. I think there might just be just a little bit of, I think we're good up and down now. Yeah, we are. And I think it's going to be a good fit. Yeah, it is. some old glaze up there. All right, now on the uh, fourth attempt, this window pane should just oh, go right Oh, there. oh, look there at that. Is. Look at that. There All we right, go. So now, we need to get our glazing points in there. So we can hold it in. So for reference sake, these are the old glazing points. Kind of bent up when I took them out. These are the modern glazing points that I bought today. We're gonna to put four of them in. Yeah, I've got a, you got a big old box there. I might have to steal a couple of uh, these from Robert's because I got some that I need to 
need to use as well. So the last time I put a window into the old bird farmhouse, um, I followed, because it was my very first time glazing a window, I followed the directions that I saw on the internet that said to put a silicone bead in there. Uh, and some of you guys in the comments, because I asked for tips and advice on doing this, said not to put a silicone bead in there. The reason I did it is a couple reasons. Um, I wanted the window to be vibration proof, which I understand that the glaze is supposed to do that as well, but also uh, to kind of hold it in place and seal it and make it airtight. The other window also fit a lot more loose than this window. But some of you in the comments uh, who had experience doing this uh, said not to do that, so I'm not this time. No silicone, just window glaze. So we're about to get started on that. All right, so the last time that I attempted to glaze a window out here on the Old Bird Farm, I had what I didn't know at the time because it was my first time using window glaze. Uh, if you guys saw the video, you'll remember it was all eggshell over this. And I thought that's just how window glaze was supposed to be because again, it's my first time using it. So I bought a new jar, if that's what you call it, uh, this time. And uh, this stuff is actually soft. So we will get to glazing it. Copper. Copper. He, he's a nuisance. I'm sorry, folks. That's my fault. <laughs> he just wants Blue to be his friend. <laughs> his, he doesn't bark until we start. I know. He hasn't. Like, like, we've had the camera off for like 10 minutes. No noise. And as soon as we start rolling... Kind of like blue scratching the rear end. Right, yeah. yeah. So also, last time I learned how that we need to knead this yes. stuff in order to do it. Because I was, and I learned that as I was going with it. Because I was just trying to shove it in there and shape it. So that's what we're about to do. Knead this and put it in here. Use our fancy glazing tool here. And uh, hopefully this one will look at least as good as the last one I did. Think Play-Doh. Let's find out. Making that's a Play-Doh worm. Right? All right, everybody, we got the window in. Now, I am my own worst critic when it comes to stuff like this. I'm not entirely happy with my glazing job, but it is sealed up. Again, the window is not rattly in there. It is pretty tight. Um, I do think that it was a little bit tighter when I used the silicone last time, so I will probably do that again when I replace my other windows here just because I kind of like the cushion that it gives 
and doesn't let the window be too rattly. But you can see the glazing job in there, not perfect. And as I said on the last video, would Jim Henry Bird have hired me to glaze the rest of his windows? Probably not. But we've got the window in and it's pretty good for a 140 year old house, I think. And by the time all the rest of these windows get reglazed, I'm sure I'll have it perfect and come back and redo the ones I did at first. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video of getting window replaced in the birdhouse. We've got another one to do right here. I'm not going to do that today because uh, it just it wears you out doing a window. I can only take one at a time, but we got to do that one upcoming and uh, tidy up this porch again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.